So this week, we're making a, a pegboard for the kids' uh, collage because it doesn't stick on the uh, stainless steel fridge with magnet. So my shop is a mess right now and uh, I'll take advantage of that to uh, make a frame for my wife's. She's got a pegboard and it doesn't look too good right now. So discoloration, mix, and uh, so it's got a plastic uh, plastic surrounding and uh, the back. So my intention is to still use the board. But uh, since we're in that theme right now of of old wood, pallet wood, I'm gonna try to make that happen. So I had to take a few staples to remove the uh, plastic frame. Then I took the pegboard to my table saw to square it off. On my wooden frame I removed about an eighth of an inch thicker than the uh, thickness of my uh, pegboard. Then I built my frame uh, and I mitered the corners to 45 uh, with a little bit of wooden glue and uh, my stapler gun. Uh, I just cut them together, a few nails. I did that on uh, all four sides. When I was happy, I measured to make sure that it was a uh, square. Then I used uh, my ratcheting strap to um, to tighten all four corners together, and I left it uh, overnight to, to dry so I would have a, a solid frame to work with. Then uh, I removed my uh, ratcheting strap and I was ready for uh, my grinder. I used a uh, metal brush and a high speed grinder to remove some material off my uh, frame. I wanted to give it a really rusted look like it's been on the beach for a long time and beaten up. This technique <laughs> permits you to have a lot of defect in, uh, in your work in your work basically and uh, that and uh, wood burning will hide a, a lot of mistakes so this uh, this technique will resemble a lot of uh, barn wood and uh, uh, beech wood So the metal brush raised a lot of grain, so I, uh, I'm cutting them with the, uh, a really rough sandpaper. In my previous video, I created my own colors uh, based on vinegar and steel wool. And this is what I use on this one. So it's fun to use something that you actually created your own. Uh, this one is uh, steel wool and vinegar and it's been sitting for four days and uh, it's, it goes really uh, uh, light in color but with time uh, it changes as, as it dries it, it darkens a little bit and it goes uh, uh, all depi depends on what kind of wood you're using it on uh, it changes. Uh, you should uh, watch my uh, other videos uh, talking about that. Then I left it dry to dry overnight, and then I came back and applied some uh, some clear on it. I would not suggest to use that varnish for, uh, for a furniture that you run at a real high luster, uh, because it doesn't have a really nice finish. But for what I'm doing, it's perfect because I want it to look old and rustic. This varnish uh, goes on milky. But as it dries, it, it comes clear. But if you have some puddles, uh, it will stay uh, kind of a whitish color in the uh, in the area where it was too thick.
So a few days later, we uh, made our way to the uh, fabric store and my wife decided on the uh, pattern that she wanted to use uh, to put the collage of the kids. She wanted something really bright and, uh, and funky. Uh, I think it'll match uh, the, uh, the kids' uh, collage. Uh, right now, I applied a uh, coat of glue on both, uh, both pieces. It's not the best glue, but it did the trick because that's the only one I had in the, in the garage. So I made sure that I stressed it to all the corners with leaving it about a quarter inch around so it would wrap up on the edge. After that it was easy, I just uh, flipped it over, installed it in the, uh, the frame and I used uh, some T50 uh, staple 916 uh, long. Uh, I use them because they uh, they don't penetrate all the way, and I would hold the uh, the pegboard inside the frame. Then from the from the dollar store, I got some uh, uh, framing brackets with nails, and I just uh, punched them uh, two of them because the kids will be pulling on that uh, that frame a little bit, so they need a bit to be sturdy. So I use the Elmer's spray adhesive. It's basically for our stencils, but I think it'll do the trick for now. Okay. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, that's your opportunity. Uh, in the back, I used the longer staple that didn't go all the way uh, all the way in, so it holds my uh, my panel no problem. Okay, um, it was a it was a re uh, reused upcycle basically upcycle stuff. Uh, the uh, the frame is made out of pallet. Uh, since it's ma made of pallet and it's made to look old, uh, any uh, any mistakes on the uh, in the wood looks better. And uh, same for the uh, miter corners. Uh, you don't have to be perfect, which makes a, a lot of sense for a beginner like me. Uh, the pattern, very loud, I know. Okay, um, there's more pineapple if you haven't seen it. Okay, I've been staring at it for, uh, for a while, so. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, if you didn't like it, like my son likes to say, give it a thumbs down, which is fine by me. Um, and if you're new on this channel, uh, please uh, subscribe so you don't miss the uh, the next video. On that note, I need a pina colada because yeah.